Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. Uh, my name's Angela, I'm the crazy poppy lady and today I'm going to bring you a very long awaited book review. I say long awaited because I was really lucky. I won this book over on Instagram um, quite a while ago. I've also made projects out of it and shown it to you and for some reason I cannot find the video showing you the book. So this is that video now, so apologies for it being so late. Right, the uh, book is called Aragurumi uh, Treasures 2. It is absolutely uh, beautifully written um, by Arena Lee. I apologise if I get the name wrong. Now, this is uh, priced in at £13.95 for the UK. USD is £18.95. Canada is £24.95. And Europe is €16.50. Okay, so that is how much it is priced up at. There will be, hopefully, some links for some shops for this book in the description box down below. But now, let's pop down to the overhead camera where I will show you pictures of some of the patterns you can make. And be warned, it's going to be cutest overload. Right, so here we go. Here is what your the front cover looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those cuties on the front. That is nothing compared to the cuteness overload on the inside. Right, so of course uh, we'll start off with our front covers here. Now we have a page with all of the cuteness on, but I won't go and show you them because that'll spoil it. There's bigger pictures inside. Now we have the about this book which explains all about Erin and um, her little journey and all the other bits and pieces. We then have our information on your basic materials, what you're going to need, crochet hooks, stitch markers, stuff in eyes, um, how to read the pattern for the pattern structure. You've got information here for different yarn types so that is the yarn thicknesses and what country and things like that so that it's easier t for you to um, chop and change your yarn around just like I did and she also explains the uh, crochet stitches and how to do them and there is also QR codes two videos showing you how to do them as well okay and lots and lots more stuff and lots and lots of techniques and then we get to the cuteness. Right, so her first um, pattern up is this a gorgeous little bear called Beverly. Well, not a bear, sorry. It's Beverly the Beaver. Okay, so she is a rather, rather cute. I'm not going to show you all of the pattern, of course, because that's a bit evil, isn't it? But it comes with a so, so many and um, gorgeous patterns uh, and uh, gorgeous pictures. Look at her modelling her headband there. Okay, so you can even uh, see her a little beaver tail just here. Right, and the uh, next pattern up is a Billy the butterfly. Oh, it's cute. Okay, and of course there is information in here on how to make every single section and 
how to build it up as well as her little supermodel moment here next one up is a bonnie the teddy so it is a bonnie rabbit plus a little rabbit teddy bear and yes all of that is included even down to her ruffle skirt and the good thing about the ruffle skirt is you actually build that onto the teddy bear so the child if you gave it to a child the child could not remove the skirt unless they got the scissors on it Shh, don't ever tell them about scissors okay the next one up which i love as well is a coco the crocodile now when i saw this i was actually watching some marvelous fil uh, marvel films um <laughs> i just had visions of loki need i say any more if you're a marvel fan you'll get what i mean there we go so as i said a lots and lots of acuteness overload don't panic you're gonna get to see the next picture now look at this this is a darcy and the dragon how stinking cute she even goes into detail here about how to do the feet which is a new technique that some people may not know which is and making the toes and joining them as you go very similar to how you would do it with a set of legs okay the next one up is a dorky of the elephant oh so cute uh, i really should have put little page markers in this but i didn't right next one up is Epsi the a donkey with her cute little flower garland and her little rug on her back as well as her swooshy tail and as you can see that is a four uh what was it two four six eight pages worth of information just for her and there she is from a different angle modeling the next one here is Har Harry the Who Pie? Who Poo? H O O P O E. And yes, I did have to look this up. There is a bird called <laughs> Who Poo. How strange. But again, this has got some really cool techniques in regards to a joining on the head and the feet as well. A really coolly made all in a one section. there he is from a, a different angle on to the next one Hattie the mouse how stinking cute I keep saying stinking cute I need another cuteness word don't I <laughs> but there she is in her little modelling <laughs> set right next one up is a Maybell Maybell yeah Maybell cow she needs hair <laughs> now this one is the most intriguing out of them all wow this is a Mackenzie of the seahorse and yes this is one I would like to tackle but now if I did make this one though I would definitely be doing it for me and in cottons he is so yeah you know the phrase <laughs> look at him from another angle how cute oh did it again <laughs> okay so the next one up of course you've seen this one made in a, a boho spirit yarn but this is what is meant to she's meant to look like sorry this is Melly, millie the frilled neck lizard so yep you've got that toe detail again and that is a very cleverly done the frill as well is really cleverly done and as you know my george does not have a bow and he does not have the scales i have made them but i wasn't too sure i was doing it correctly so i decided i was going to leave them off and try them another day <laughs> yeah we know what i'm like about leaving stuff and <laughs> for another day maybe i'll get it done next year right the and next one up is a dolly the goose he would make an absolutely a beautiful addition to a baby's bedroom especially if the bedroom is themed i know the peter rabbit by beatrix potter books looks so much like on one of the ducks that she talks about right so 
we're getting close to the end guys but i haven't come across my favorite yet <laughs> this one here is a wally the wombat so out of all of the patterns i would say this is one of her easier ones now he is made to lay um a lay down so if you made that in a really 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 chunky yarn that would be a really cool head cushion <laughs> but he is super cute okay now it's my favorite I haven't done him yet either this is Benedict the Shrew and of course he is um, a little little shrew so a really small a really diddy and this is another one of the ones out of the book that one day I will get round to making now with each of these little patterns they also come with a little story up the top um, so in the case of Benedict it says he is small in stature but he is, his curiosity is big he's always on a mission to solve the next big mystery and undertakes exclusive research for the task ahead of him in the evenings he loves sitting on his couch with his favorite tv series sherlock and with the with a bowl of popcorn that weighs about as much as he does so as you can see there are beautiful little write-ups and little stories behind each one of the characters which to me makes the book a, a little bit more special so with this one of course you are making the arigurumi as normal but she talks you through and gives you charts and things for how to do the uh, stitch work here for his little items of clothing and then talks you through how to make the hat as well now within this book she does suggest that you use a one particular yarn but of course she doesn't say you have to it's just that that is the yarn that is recommended now I can't get my tongue around the name of this yarn so I'm going to write it on the screen here for you it, and it will be in the description box of this video in case you want to go and see how much that yarn would cost you prior to you uh, picking up your book. Now I'll just pop that on the front cover for you. Right so extra details on uh, where you could possibly purchase this book are in the description box down below. I've done my best to search out different countries but remember it doesn't take you five seconds really to copy and paste the name into um, and copy and paste the name into your search bar to find out yourself because you never know you might find a, a better deal than what I've managed to. Right I'm gonna head off now I will see you all really really soon. If you can please stay in and definitely stay safe. Ta-ra for now everybody.